Well, good morning, day 193. We stayed at Herdbrook Lean To last night. Had kind of a crowd here. There was uh, some folks that we met two nights ago that uh, we actually, there's, they're, they're, I think some of them are from North Carolina and uh, we have common friends. So that's kind of neat. We were able to chat and visit with them some. Uh, slept really well. We, <laughs> we have three point some odd miles to do today and we had not planned on being up early and I woke up at 515. So that's, that's one of those days. Uh, so we're packing up. We're going to head on out. We're going to uh, the A-Ball campground. Uh, there's a general store there. We should be able to get snack foods and sandwiches and sodas and things so we don't have to eat out of our food bags tonight. And uh, then tomorrow we go over to the Birches, assuming we can get a place. And then the day following, we're climbing Mama K. So we're in the short rows for sure now. We have, uh, you know, two, three days of hiking left. None of them are going to be terribly long. The last day up Katahdin is going to be tough because it's 4,500 feet or better of elevation gain in about five miles. So it's going to be steep and climby, but uh, it'll be what it'll be, and we're looking forward to it. I, I know by that point we'll be running on, adre on adrenaline. So thank you for joining us today, and I'll show you what we see as we go up the trail. Well, mushroom on the trail alert this morning. That's the... Uh, We've seen quite a few. There was one that I wish I had videoed earlier. It was just a little white cat mushroom sitting all by itself in the middle of the pine forest. It was really beautiful. I'm following aftermath today. We're figuring for only three or four miles, I figured I'd stay back and at least for a while anyhow and hike together and chat and talk. So we've had a good chat this morning. Um, but I didn't see the mushroom until she had passed it and I was right up on it and I just didn't stop, I should have. But uh, 300 feet of elevation gain today. It's really a tough day today. Oh, yep, there's a, she calls this a marshmallow mushroom. I've never heard that before, but we'll call it that. That may or may not be the correct name. I bet it is because she knows. But uh, anyway, a rugged 300 feet of climb today. Just kidding. We're doing right at four miles, I think, three, 3.7, 3.9. I don't know, somewhere close to four to get to a uh, camp store and a campground where we'll stay tonight and spend the afternoon just resting our bodies. Almost like a zero day, but not quite. We'll call it a Nero, nearly zero miles. And uh, then we'll get up and move on into Baxter State Park tomorrow and situate ourselves for the summit day on the following day. So that's kind of our working plan at the moment. Okay, here's the standalone mushroom again. Different one, but you get the idea. About five inches tall, four inches tall. Caps about two and a half inches in diameter. Really neat. Wandering down through this pine forest today. Lots of rocks and roots, but mostly flat. We can do this. We're in the short rows now, so we can do pretty near anything for a few hours. Well, one thing I'll miss going down the trail yeah. is uh, these wide open forests like this and yeah. having this good flat trail. After mass up in front of me, we're hiking together and chatting some today. And uh, the sprucey forest with the pine trees and the rocks and the moss of course we can go back to uh the mountains of north carolina and see some of that and i'm sure i will but uh we're finishing up our time in the hundred mile wilderness today we i don't think pr properly get into baxter state park until tomorrow i think we're right on the outside edge of it today and uh then we'll go in tomorrow morning early early to uh try to grab a spot at the birches because there's only room for 12. I know the rangers are supposed to be committed to trying to put through hikers somewhere in the vicinity if the birches fills up. But I also happen to know that that campground is completely booked out because we tried to book a spot for Beth and Griffin and Taylor and Sally and Sarah Grace to come in and for some of them to hike with us. and. It's been booked out for several weeks already. 
especially being that we're gonna hit it on a weekend, that doesn't help any. But, uh, you know, had we known, it wouldn't have mattered because we were still, we would have had to make our summit date plan more than two weeks in advance and not knowing what our mileage would be, what the trail would look like, how hard it would be, yeah, whether, yeah, it's, it's real clear, <clears throat> whether we had way steep river fords that we weren't planning on, or at least not so early. Um, and none of what we were supposed to ford was supposed to be that deep and that dangerous. <clears throat> it would have been very difficult to uh, set that summit date unless we pushed it out a little bit and just kind of coasted. And we don't really have the time for that because Kevin's classes at the community college will have already started by the time we get home. I think he'll only miss a day or two of class and we found out that that's going to be okay. So we'll sort that out this weekend. But uh, anyway, we'll get to, uh, we'll get to see everybody day after tomorrow, I think. So that'll be a good thing. Well, Hawkeye has stopped in the trail and I don't know why, but uh, we're assuming that there must be something on this sign up over my you shoulder. Just exited the 100 mile wilderness. Hey, all right. We have just exited the 100 mile wilderness. Awesome. So that puts us pretty close to where we're supposed to be. Less than half a mile. Less than half a mile. So, wow, we're making ago. a really good time. There's a pond over that way. We're not going to see it from here, but we'll see it in a little bit, I think. Yeah. But, uh, Anyway, it's been a great day. A great day on the trail. It's in the I'm kind of curious what this sign up here says. No, While I've got the phone out and on, we'll give it a look. Aha! This trail is main by, maintained by volunteers. <laughs> well, free cucumbers, free tomatoes. There's a sign. 3.3 miles we've come from uh, Herd Book Brook. 40 miles from Joe Mary, and uh, we don't have far to go. So, oh my gosh, those are good. I'm trying to decide whether I want a tomato or not. I you think do. I might. They're really good. I think I will. Well, our trail has turned into a small road as we work our way towards a ball bridge. I'm not sure I expected this, but it is what it is. Stepping onto a ball bridge. This is kind of cool. The Knobscot River right here. Oh, wow. There's the view right there. That's where we'll be. Pretty awesome. Just kind of sitting down below the peaks of Baxter of, uh, of Baxter Peak and Mount Katahdin. Let's get on across this bridge here. Well, we made it to the A-Ball Camp Store, the A-Ball Bridge Campground. That's where we're staying tonight. We're gonna go down here and uh, Find campsite number 15, I think is where we're headed. And uh, we'll chill here tonight. We can come back to the store if we need to and get a little bit of uh, food, uh, that sort of thing. Um, but mostly we'll eat out of our bags. We'll get up early, early tomorrow and try to go get our site at uh, the uh, Birch's campsite uh, shelter for through hikers. And we'll sort of see how things go. So we'll talk to you a little bit later on. This is our campsite for tonight. We are, uh, oh, there's the bathhouse right there. We've all had showers, I think. At least two thirds of us have had showers. I've had one and I feel a lot better because of it. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, we're staying here by the Penobscot River tonight. Um, <clears throat> we've got a little bit of a view of Katahdin from our campsite. Not a lot. Oh, over here, there, there it goes. That's where we're going. Day after tomorrow, it looks a little socked in right now, but uh, we just, we, we've been talking to the Ridge Runner trying to sort out camping and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you really can't see a whole lot up there because it's in the clouds, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, the Ridge Runner says our forecast for Friday is sunny and 78, so we're pretty happy about that. Uh, we're camped out over here by the bridge, and uh, we will go up to, uh, we, we actually, met another hiker who has allowed us to use her campsite at Katahdin Stream Campground tomorrow. So we're probably not going to the Birches. We've, we're, we're, we're gonna get the Ridge Runner to double check everything um, after Matt's wife is coming in. And um, <clears throat> we're trying to get her situated 
and make sure that we can get her car inside. But uh, things are looking up. So we've got about a nine mile trek or a 10 mile trek tomorrow on into Baxter State Park proper. And um, then we summit the following day. So we're getting everything lined up and situated and sorted. And Hawkeye's taking a nap. Uh, but right here by the river, or right over there's the mountain that you can't see anymore through the trees. And uh, we're, we're happy to be here. Oh, well, that is it. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, yeah. So this is our penultimate night of camping on the Appalachian Trail. We're actually camping near a camp store. So I just ate six hot dogs out of the fridger, uh, out of the refrigerator with some uh, Lance crackers. And um, Aftermath is trying to get a text message out to Valerie to let her know that our plans have changed and we're staying at a different campsite, but we've got our three tents lined up, boom, 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 right in a row right there. And uh, we're having a decent afternoon. All right, so Aftermath has built us a campfire thanks to the gentleman beside of us who gave us you know, a good armful of wood for us to have a little bit of a campfire tonight. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is our penultimate night on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, we are in a campground and uh, making some supper down here. I will not miss ramen, I promise you that. Uh, but anyway, we're having a big time uh, right here by the Penobscot River. And uh, we'll get up tomorrow. We've got a campsite at uh, Baxter State Park that was a gift from a friend. So thank you to, I don't remember her name. Rebecca Vaughn. Rebecca Vaughn. And uh, Rebecca, we appreciate it. We know you guys are uh, from North Carolina or have relatives there, so thank you. And uh, we'll use that tomorrow, and then we'll begin our ascent the following morning at Mama K. Well, here's the view over the Penobscot River down here at uh, Abal Bridge. Abal Bridge is just over here to the left. We crossed that earlier today. And uh, that signifies our leaving the 100 mile wilderness, which we did, and <clears throat> getting ready to join up to uh, Baxter State Park, which we'll do first thing in the morning. A uh, nice little sunset going on here. And <clears throat> around the corner over here, that's where we're gonna be in two days time. So Baxter's, Baxter Peak is a little socked in with clouds right now, but not too terribly bad. Uh, beautiful area right there. And man, we are so looking forward to getting up there. Well, uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for tonight. Thank you guys for joining us today. And uh, we'll be back out tomorrow. We've got about an eight or nine, 10 mile hike tomorrow to go through the gate at Baxter Park and up to Katahdin Stream Campground where we're going to stay tomorrow night. And then from there, we get up and stage and go out early, early in the morning the following day, heading up this mountain right here, Katahdin, up towards Baxter Peak. So we'll see you in the morning first thing. Thanks for watching.